Hey everybody, this is Devin with HDPiano.com, and in today's video, we are checking out You Are So Beautiful, a gorgeous song written by Billy Preston and Bruce Fisher. But we're taking a look at the Joe Cocker version, all right? So I'm going to show you guys the intro in this video, but the rest of the videos with the rest of the song can be found over at HDPiano.com. Here's what we're learning. Three, four. So it's a quick four measures, that's the intro, and then we're into the verse. But from those four measures, we're going to learn a lot about the style um, and the approach that this song needs at the piano. And from there on out, we'll be tackling about eight measures at a time after that. And it's a fairly short song, so it's uh, broken up into five videos. But all right, before we dive in, I do have a quick question. I personally did not know this was written by Billy Preston until I sat down to teach this lesson. And I'm curious, are you guys familiar with Billy Preston? Um, the first time I ever heard this song was in the movie uh, The Little Rascals uh, back when I was a kid on VHS. And little did I know that Billy Preston, one of my favorite piano players, um, you know, was making an impact on my life that early on. It's pretty cool to think about that. Um, but if you don't know who Billy Preston is, check him out. He's, you know, he was essentially a member of the Beatles for a, for a short period. He recorded on some of their albums, although that's, you know, some people debate that. Uh, but he certainly performed with them. He's on Aretha Franklin stuff. I mean, just anywhere you look, you'll find a trace of Billy Preston. So comment below if you guys uh, knew about him or if this is your first time hearing his name. All right, so we are in the key of A flat major. Um... You know, it's a very pianistic song, so we're starting with a, a very pianistic intro, and naturally we're up the piano a little bit. Middle C is here, my left hand on A flat, just below middle C, and my right hand starting on E flat, A flat, B flat. Now, this song is, you know, it's intermediate to, to advanced, I'd say, in level. So my teaching style is going to be kind of just throw it all out there, and you can uh, pick up the pieces as best you can, and I'll do my best to explain it in the time frame that we got. So... Here we go. A flat, right hand, E flat, A flat, B flat. Now, right hand is eighth notes for the first two beats, and it looks like this. Right, so essentially, we have this A flat chord, and we're playing a melody. In fact, let's just learn the melody of this first measure. So we have eighth notes, sixteenth notes. All right, so B flat, C, C, E flat. And then B flat, C, C, B flat, C, E flat. One and two and three E and a four E and. All right, so that's our first measure. Left hand was one, two, and three, four, and one. Okay? Put them together. you notice in my right hand I'm playing that melody but just hitting the core of the chord on every downbeat all right so now we're into measure two F minor seven we start here G and C in the right and F in the left and it's almost like the melody is underneath the top note now so the melody that stands out to me is G, A flat, F, 16th, 16th, 8th note. So 1, E, and, with the C holding through that beat. 1, E, and, a. Uh. All right, so the left hand picks up that final 16th. 1, E, and, a, uh, 2, and. So beat 2, we are landing on our right hand with E flat and A flat, and then filling it in on the and of 2 with F. So the first two beats, 3, Four. Okay, now we go to D flat major. D flat and A flat in the left, E flat, A flat, and we have the same pattern here. Top note holds and we play E flat, F, D flat. And then for measure, uh, for rather beat four, 
two A flats in the left, eighth notes, and sixteenths in the right, E flat, F, A flat, B flat. All right, so the first two measures. Okay, pretty simple. I want to outline the chords for you guys as well so you know what's going on harmonically. So we have our A flat major, All right? We got this nice little melody. And now we've got A flat over G flat for the next two beats of bar one. All right, because you hear kind of the same melody happening up here, but it's uh, re-characterized with this, uh, you know, kind of it adds a little dark undertone here. Ooh, mystery. G flat in the left, right? So that's A flat over G flat. I kind of like to call that the Disney chord. And then F minor seven, and then D flat add two. And then those four uh, chords will repeat over the next two measures. So let's check out the next two measures. Here we go. All right, so that was easy. Pretty much the same as that first measure. One more time. Except we have some 16th notes at the beginning. Instead of, we have, so B flat, C, C, all right, but the next two beats are more or less the same. And here's the final measure. So we're clearly coming down the piano, making our way down to accompaniment territory. You know, this is kind of like the pianistic area of the piano. You can play all the pretty stuff up here because there's no vocal, nothing to distract. And then in the final measure, and now we're into a lower range so that Joe Cocker can soar above and do his thing. All right, so that last measure there, F minor seven, F in the left, E flat, A flat, C. And again, the melody here is C, A flat, A flat, F for the first two beats. So we're gonna hit the full chord on, on beat one. Then re-articulate on beat two with just uh, E flat and A flat in the right. On the and of two, left hand's gonna walk down E flat, and then we're gonna land on our D flat chord. So those first two beats. D flat. We got a little resolution there. So we have D flat, A flat in the left, E flat, F in the right. E flat immediately goes to D flat. And then we take our left hand down. We can add this lower octave, which I'll get to in the next video. All right, so we come down to our open D flat, and then our right hand picks up the A flat in the thumb, and it walks up to B flat. And then we land here. A flat in the left, E flat, B flat, C in the right. And this beautiful piano part continues. There's a lot of inner voice motion, right? This B flat resolves to an A flat, and then, you know, G, G flat, etc. But we'll get to that in part two. All right, so I'm going to play through that one more time for you guys, and then I'll see you over there. Three, four. Definitely check out The Little Rascals if you haven't heard that version. It's adorable. All right, one more quick thing to note before I move on, though. Use that pedal. This is a very sensitive, very expressive moment. Um, you know, without pedal. Sounds a little dry, a little sad. Um, you add that pedal, and suddenly it's rich and emotional. And uh, But, you know, don't overdo it. Try and repedal uh, with every chord at least. 
so that you kind of eliminate any of the crunchy notes that might carry over. But all right, guys, good work. This is Devin with HDPiano.com. Hope to see you over at the site to pick up where we left off. And in the meantime, like and subscribe here on YouTube and follow us on all those other social media platforms so you can stay hip to the latest tutorials. Well, that about does it. This is Devin, HDPiano.com. We'll catch you guys later.